Hello viewers, welcome to another session of my pharmacology series. So today I'll be discussing about the pre-anesthetic medications. So actually what are pre-anesthetic medications? So particularly we'll be focusing upon the mnemonic or the short trick as to how we can very easily write a short note on pre-anesthetic medication. So the pre-anesthetic medication, the mnemonic or the short trick, what I have made to easily recollect as to what are the effects of the pre-anesthetic medications, we just look at the mnemonic P, R, E and A of the anesthetic. That is P, R, E of pre and A of the anesthetic we can summarize all the effects what the pre-anesthetic medications cause. So just a quick view as to what are actually the pre-anesthetic medications. So the pre-anesthetic medications are given before anesthesia to make it more pleasant and safe. So while looking at the first initial letter of pre, that is P, it refers to it causes pain relief. So the first effect what the pre-anesthetic medications cause that is they cause pain relief. So most commonly the pre-anesthetic medications the pain relief is provided by the use of opioid drugs. So the opioid drugs they act as a pain relieving agent. So very common examples of this category include morphine and pethidine. Now moving on to the R of the pre. So the R of the pre-anesthetic medication will refer to the respiratory and salivary secretion inhibition. Alright, so the R refers to, so the pre-anesthetic medication, what they do is, they are going to inhibit the respiratory secretions as well as the salivary secretion and also they all they cause prophylaxis of laryngospasm vagal bradycardia and hypotension by anticholinergics so so prophylaxis in the pre anesthetic medication they help in the uh, inhibition of the respiratory and the salivary secretions and they also aid in the prophylaxis of any kind of laryngospasm or vagal bradycardia and they also prevent hypotension. So particularly the prophylaxis of laryngospasm, vagal bradycardia and hypotension by anticholinergics drugs, they cause these effects. So the anticholinergic drugs, what are used for these particularly the prophylaxis of laryngospasm, vagal bradycardia and hypotension, the anticholinergic drugs, what they, what are employed, what are used are, example, atropine, hyoscine and glycopyrrolate. So now moving on to the E of the pre. So the E of the pre-anesthetic medication refers to MSS and gastric acid regurgitation prevention by antiemetics. So the E refers to the pre-anesthetic medication. They help in, they cause their action. That is, they prevent the emesis. And they also aid in prevention of the gastric acid regurgitation during surgeries. So the pre-anesthetic medication, they aid in preventing emesis. All right. So the drugs what are used in the pre-anesthetic medication are particularly the anti-emetic drugs. So the very common examples include the metaclopramide and the ondansetron. So viewers, the pre-anesthetic medication we have up till now, we have discussed that is the PRE of pre, where the for the pain, the P of the pain pre will refer to the pain relief, which is given by the opioid drugs, which is given by the opioid drugs, example, morphine and pethidine. The R 
refers to the respiratory and salivary secretion inhibition and prophylaxis of laryngospasm and vagal bradycardia and hypotension by anticholinergic drugs and the E that is the emesis and gastric acid regurgitation prevention is done by the use of the anti-emetic drugs. So these drugs are given before anesthesia, before the administration of the anesthetic agent that is during general anesthesia. Firstly, the pre-anesthetic pre medications are given and the E refers to the prevention of emesis and gastric acid regurgitation prevention. So, it is done by the anti-emetic drugs, example metaclopramide and ondansetron. Particularly, another very important drugs what are used, the A, will refer to the, the A of the pre. I have already told you the mnemonic or the short trick what I have made is PRE and, and from the anesthetic I have taken the initial A. So, the A of the pre-A anesthetic refers to the acid inhibitors refers to the acid inhibitors and enzyolytic drugs. So viewers, it's a common finding that during uh, any kind of a surgery which is done under, under general anesthesia, patients who are going to have such surgeries, they face anxiety. So in order to prevent that anxiety, the enzyolytic drugs are used and during surgeries, we do not need the acid secretion in the stomach, so acid inhibitors are also given. So the A of the anesthetic refers to the use of the acid inhibitor drugs and the enzyolytic drugs. So the acid inhibitor drugs comprises of the ranitidine and the omeprazole and the enzyolytic drugs what are used, they are the enzyolytic drugs, the class of the drugs what are used are the benzodiazepines. So viewers, the most common enzyolytic drug what is given as a pre-anesthetic medication comprises of the diazepam and the midazolam. So viewers, this was my mnemonic or the short trick as to how we can very easily remember the pre-anesthetic medication and what are the drugs what are the classes of the drugs what are used before any anesthesia administration into the patient to make it more acceptable and more pleasant to the patient these pre-anesthetic medications are given. So viewers in this way we can very easily make out as to what are the pre-anesthetic medications what are given before the administration of the general anesthesia that is GA. So, we can very easily make out the drugs are the painkillers, the pain relief by the opioid, the R by the uh, the R refers to the respiratory and salivary secretion inhibition, the E refers to the emesis prevention and gastric acid regurgitation prevention by the use of antiemetics, and the A refers to the uh, acid inhibitors and the enzyolytic drugs. So viewers, this was my analysis or the short trick as to how we can very easily remember what are the pre-anesthetic medications which are given prior to any surgery under general anesthesia. So viewers, if you do like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon so that you can be further updated about my newer videos. Thank you for watching.